2nd of January 2014 at the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve. And today we have three of our top game managers who work here at the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project. And we have just found something very unusual. So unusual that none of us have ever seen it before in our entire lives. The reason this is so interesting for us is because it is one of the meerkat's favorite foods that live in this reserve. All right, now inside Hans's hand, we have a surprise. But before we show it to you, I'd like to introduce everyone. Who are you, please? I'm Tesla. My surname is Nate. Baie dankie. Ons gaan naar Afrikaans begin praat. Baie dankie. It's taken. Now, I guess by in a skirrig man, eh? Uh, iets in your hand, and Hans, I can jij is mos oor die 40 jaar oud al. Ja, ja, ja. Het jy al ooit so iets in jou leven gesien? Dis die eerste keer. Die eerste keer, en vir my ook, en ek werk met die natuur oor 20 jaar al professioneel. Ja, ja, ja. En wat van jou, Sam, hoe oud is jy nou? 18 jaar, maar ek wil nooit so iets. Nog nooit in die hele gemeenskap hier sal weer die vallei. Chesden, Sam, Hans, niemand het het al gezien. Laat ons een beetje nader komen. Kan je voor ons wijs wat is hier in je hand? Ons gaan het net nou weer laat loop. Maar so iets is eiterskaars. This is incredibly rare to find this guys, because what we have here is a recently emerged tok toki beetle, which is an onomatopoeic name used because of the sound the beetle makes when it is calling its mate, a tok 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 sound which it makes with its abdomen. But this tok toki is incredibly soft now and we don't want to damage it so being very careful. But its shell, its elytra have not even become hard yet. And there is the larval stage, the coleoptera larva, that it is actually pupated out of. Now we're going to let this go again and hopefully it's going to have many years ahead. He saw a tok toki and Dit is nou die larve vir hom hier so, en voor ons is die volwasse. Tok Tokkie, maar dit is nog nie eers uitgedroog nie, en nog baie sag. So, eindelijk kan dit makkelijk beskadig word, so ons gaan dit net nou weer in die grond gaan bere, en dit is ongelooflik om so iets te beleef, nee. Wat dink jylle? Baie dankie manne, laat jylle dit met ons deel vandag. Sterkte vir 2014.